Okay, so in this problem, we're asked to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force, FR. So to start this, this problem, we draw a free body diagram. So we start with, with this dot, and this dot will represent this point here, which is where all the forces are, are acting at. So we start by drawing there is 60 pound force with an angle of 50 degrees and then our 50 pound force with angle 30 degrees 20 pound force angle 20 degrees and a 30 pound force angle 45 degrees okay so from here it, it's easy to break it down into triangles to break it down into its x component and its y component like so okay so now the, the next step is to find out the magnitude of each component so first we draw a table So you've got your force, its x component, and its y component. So 60 pounds, 50 pounds, 20 pounds, and 30 pounds. <coughs> okay, so start with the 60 pound. Okay, so its, it's x component is adjacent over hypotenuse so you will use cosine so it's 60 cosine 50 its y is opposite over hypotenuse so you sine so it's 60 sine 50 for the 30 pound force its x component is adjacent over hypotenuse so you use, use cosine so 50 cosine 30 it's a y component is opposite over hypotenuse. Now this one is going down, so it's negative. So negative 50 sine 30. For this for this force, it's it's x its x component is opposite over hypotenuse, and it's negative because it's going to the left. So negative 20 sine 20. And its y component is is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's it's cosine. And it's also negative because it's going down. So negative twenty cosine twenty. And for this force, its x component is adjacent over hypotenuse. And again, it's negative because it's going to the left. So it's negative thirty cosine forty. And its y component is op op is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's thirty sine forty. Excuse me, forty five. Forty five. Okay, so now the next step is to sum up the forces in the x component and the y component. So sum up forces, and if you do that, then excuse me then for x it should be 53.76 pounds and for y it should be 23.4 pounds so this means that the force is going this way to the to the to the right 53.76 and going up 23.4 so then the final force is going this way. So to solve for the hypotenuse, you would do square root of 23.4 squared plus 53.76 squared. Therefore, FR equals 58.6 pounds. And then to find its direction, 
you find this angle theta which is equal to the inverse tangent of 23.4 over 53.76 which gives you 23.5 degrees alright so that's your answer thank you for watching